Another new feature in version 4.0 is failover on storage failure. Um, so you can see me right now. There's an NX2 down there with four drives in it. Um, and what failover on storage failure is, in the past, if you had uh, a, a server running and the computer failed, uh, power supply, network failure, that type of thing, then you would see failover occur uh, in the system. But if a storage location failed, you wouldn't necessarily get a storage failure. The cameras would continue to operate, but not necessarily capture the video. So in version 4.0, we've introduced uh, this feature so that if the storage fails on a server, then the cameras will fail over, even though the server application may continue to be run on that device, um, since it's not actually recording uh, the footage, uh, then the cameras will move to a new server that has available uh, storage on it. So I'm going to try and show you real fast, and if the demo gods are smiling, everything will work. So pull out all four drives from the system here. So hot swap drives, jerking them out of the NX2, so they're no longer connected. All right. So now the storage is out. Uh, failover, remember, runs every one minute or so. So it'll take about a minute um, before the system will recognize that the storage is not available. There you go. So you can see the drives have begun to fail over. Um, if I go look at the NX2 right now, uh, and I look at storage management, all the drives have been gone. Uh, there is one that does store analytics data. I'm going to go ahead and disable that one as well and apply. And you can see most of the cameras have failed over, so the demo gods were smiling slightly upon me. Um, but I can just move the rest of them over. Um, and just like before, when I put that information back, or put, that, put those drives back, then the cameras should come back. So the drives are back in. Um, it'll take a minute for the operating system to recognize them as being available uh, and then we should see them start to come back in to their original um, position once that is done so now it's just a waiting game uh, so you see the drives have just come back online let me re-enable that sucker so they're all enabled press apply right it's okay and the system will take another minute or so to move all the cameras back to their original position. Now the three that I manually moved over may not move, um, but that's all right, we can move them back manually again. Um, so there you go, the cameras have now moved back to their original position, except for the three that I manually moved. So I'm gonna go ahead and manually move those back over as well. And everything will be back online shortly. But this is, uh, failover on storage failure cool new feature in version 4.0 hopefully you'll never have to use it um, but it's available now